talking with a friend of mine, he was a high school teacher at Wheat Ridge High School in Colorado, and we're kind of just talking about an idea of how we can do something fun and work together to come up with uh, just a project that his students could get involved in. We came up with the idea of painting the shoes, and then it kind of progressed into a bigger project. We split all the, the kids up in the classroom. There was 23 students and each kid got their own pair of shoes and each group had the theme that they kind of had to fit those shoes into. And then we did a full presentation uh, with a fashion show in their auditorium. So that started three years ago, three years ago. And uh, it's, it's just been insane ever since. We took the amazing basis that Sean had created and built it out into a national platform so that high schools all over the country could compete. And I think most importantly, that we could help raise awareness about the importance of arts in the education process. Art programs in your high schools are all the creative designers and uh, creative minds of tomorrow. It's, um, it's important to be able to think outside the box, to be able to use your hands and your mind to create things that um, that aren't, aren't just put there for you and you're developing them. So you need the people who are going to start with the ideas to begin with before actually creating them. When I was a kid, like if you were into art and all that, you were like a hippie and stuff and they were kind of like an outcast. And I think that it's really important that it's evolved to the point, like I said, it's an evolution, you know, of like where creative classes, you know, such as music and art and acting and like all of those things have gone. I mean, I was hanging out with these kids yesterday and they're just so confident in everything they did. And, Kids were just picking up paint and painting on walls and painting on book bags and painting on, you know, each other and, and it was it was so cool to see like this this confidence. I, I don't know if fans really understands how much of an impact they have made on our students and our community by doing this event. Uh, this has become really a community affair. Our whole town has kind of got behind us, and I don't think before they really understood what our students were capable of and how important the arts were. They put so much attention on academics and they've kind of just put the arts aside and, and all of a sudden we were put into the limelight. We actually found out about this project through a former classmate of mine, a student of mine. And we had about two and a half weeks before your competition ended. And I went up to, Ms. to Jim and I said, is this something you'd like to do? And he said, absolutely. So we actually pulled together, we both teach AP Studio, and we pulled together the AP Studio students and talked to them about the competition and they just, they ran with it. Oh, as a team, um, it took us a while, just a lot of brainstorming, talking to people around our school, getting ideas. The way that everyone works together and everyone has their own specific quality in their artwork and everyone has a unique style, so it was interesting to put all of the different styles and techniques together and see what came out of it. It's usually just individuals entering their own competition, you know, drawing something, you know, photography or anything like that. But we've never really collaborated on, you know, this shoe before. It's been really exciting. It was also challenging just doing all the planning and trying to get the shoes together. It was it's stressful at times, but it was really fun at the same time. We got the bolts, we, we tried a lot of things. We did flyers. The basics, telling everyone you know, Facebooking, emailing. We talked the radio. We were on our local newspaper. We'd go to art fairs. We made posters. We'd carry them around and be like, hey, you know, look at our shoes. If you like them, go ahead and vote for us. We reached out to more than just the island. And, and we got support from a lot of people around the nation. So I guess we were really lucky in that. We're at the beautiful Cooper Hewitt uh, Design Museum, and we're gonna have the finals for them here tonight, and the winning school will walk away with $50,000 for their art program.